Hello. One night a winged creature came to our camp. It asked for shelter. And we gave it shelter. That was your mistake. Trusting a foreigner. Hospitality was your downfall. Little did we know it would prove to be a false-hearted traitor spreading a paralyzing fog under the cover of night. He sold us out for a handful of eggs. Undoubtedly, his fine creatures have a weakness for them. Please find him and I shall offer you my help. He's wounded. He can't be far. I have a choice. I could spell him. Or I could affect his death. I could make the conscious decision to have him die. Is that the right thing to do? Is it? I feel like it just might be. Um, I need another disc. Well, presumably I'll find it soon enough. This is the only way, literally, physically, this is the way I have to go. This is the only place I have not yet visited. Oh no. The door is locked. There must be some other way. Um. Hold on, but I need two symbols. Yes. All right. Triangles. Uh, closed eyes. Straight. Belt teeth. What? Triangles. Tri just triangles, that's enough, right? Just have these triangles and it'll all be fine. None of the other ones actually have triangles in the circle, so you don't have to remember every single detail. Yes. It's an impressive cathedral. The hermit presumably um, dwells within. Can't quite access it yet until I position everything accordingly. A little rainbows. Once again, you don't have to pay attention to every single detail, just the detail that's present on every single bit of rock that you turn on every single disc eh, you could call the disc oh pictures people heading towards the cathedral yes and a gal girl here this one a strange building that's one way of putting it i guess come on there's a story behind all of these think fest and think a dark figure with a scythe I'm not saying it's necessarily death, but it's death. Desolation after a fire. Torches burning. A portrait of some Paul's sick soul. Ah, oh, plenty of symbols though, but I don't think I should be writing them down. Skeletons writing cards. That's. Carnival of the Dam, that's pretty bizarre. I mean, Tyrael! Like heaven connected to it? Fine. Grotesque face. Yes, a terrifying structure of that. My goodness, what is going on here? A balloon over the ruins of a city. What is all of this? 
people crossing some unsettling archers. And the final one, person gazing. The bottom gazing upon something colossal. Impressive. Impressive, all of this. Utterly useless, but impressive. More of them. Uh, cave interior. Dead animal, yes. One torch is out here. Buddhist beings. A no creature which appears to be screaming. How apt. <sighs> Would you describe this as some type of animal? Animated trees, yes, quite. I'm not going to read out all of this text. <sighs> wow. Okay, excellent. Corpses, bizarre architecture. Yes, that checks. Mm, well, that checks off everything. Uh, this one leads me back, right? Yes, yes, it does. This one leads me out, right? Yes, this is the exit. We go here. Over here, I could head further down, but let's read the note instead. A crown does not a king make, a heart does a king make. A king must have his heart open for all, giving hope for a better tomorrow. Hope is not a dream, it is the way of transforming dreams into reality. Should the king open himself to others, the secret within the crown will open before him as well. Crown! The crown is not a worthless piece of junk. The crown can work as long as you're pure of heart. And you can purify yourself using the statue. If I am to ascend, cleanse myself and get the crown, the crown of the damned shall be mine. Alongside tremendous power. But why would I desire it? Should the king open himself to others, the secret within the crown will open before him as well. That's very noteworthy. Side door. You have the most peculiar taste. I could refuse to click on these things. But I'm driven by some morbid sense of curiosity, I guess. Creepy landscape that doesn't even begin to describe it. Look at it. It's just one long spine of some <laughs> hey, there, little fella. He's so cute. Look, cats. We have unexpected visitors.
These might be my cultural expectations, but that's not... And what a smart too, wielding the power of code breaking. Right. Since you are already here, please tell me, how is life outside the cathedral? Where do we leave these walls, you see? It's pretty shitty. Everyone's dead, deformed, dying, being tortured, gone crazy, and... I mean, I could tell them the truth. The village destroyed, I can see. Building the sanctuary many years ago was a wise idea. <laughs> Better them than me, huh? You've lost your memory, hope to regain it by awakening a statue uh, on the hill. I'm afraid you are mistaken. Excuse me. Most who come here seeing redemp seek redemption for their sins. Uh, so not memory, redemption for sins. A plenty of statue attracts individuals with a deeply rooted conviction of their own evil. Are you any different? What utter bait! The statue promises redemption for sins, right? So, people drawn here are people who believe they are terrible people, who believe they have transgressed horribly, and presumably in quite a few cases they have, they're not completely deluded. Thus, if you were to say, punish the wicked, you just go there and harvest them. They're ripe for the taking. They sit on these chairs and then kablamo! You just harvest them into the castle they go and torture time. Wow! I'm one of the few who have crossed the gates hidden within the sculpture and returned. The gates hidden within the sculpture? Wow. Not many believe my tales. Most believe I have gone insane. I'm not counting that possibility out. It was many, many years ago. I have paid a high price for my recklessness. I have gone completely blind. And yet to this day I struggle to recreate in my paintings what I saw on the other side. On second thought, I'm not so sure I want to go to the other side. Uh, there are a couple of interpretations that spring to my mind. First and foremost, of course, maybe on the other side you just have the castle. <laughs> Instead of transporting you there, going through all the effort, they just wait for you on the other side. <laughs> the gate closes shut, and they say, well, 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 so you've come here for redemption. You must be a pretty bad person, eh? We'll take care of that, don't you worry. Torture time, or maybe on the other side is simply death, or something along those lines. Either way, this does not look particularly attractive. I want them to be warnings for people like myself to not go to the other side. Believe me when I say nothing good will await you when you cross to the other side. Uh, I appreciate the paintings, blind guy, but could you just describe the... What is out there exactly? Nevertheless, the passage revealed to you must thrust into the statue a sword made of metal from the stars. I buried mine a long time ago. Do you remember where I buried it, cat? Ah, oh, yes, you weren't even born back then. It's a huge kitty. Say, cat, shall we help him? Oh yeah, I'm totally going to trust the blind guy drawing these disturbing pictures, talking to his cat about the buried sword. That seems like the most reasonable thing I can do. My paintings and my words do not discourage you, then I can do nothing more to stop you. I can draw you a sword design that will reveal the gates beyond the sculpture. Yes! Stall metal you'll still need to find on your own. If I help you, however, I'll ask of you a small favor. What is it? What do you want? Take this set of tools and restore 30 of my paintings. Time is slowly consuming them. In exchange for your effort, I will prepare a star sword blueprint for you. Restore 30 paintings.
My cat will show you the way to the paintings in the illustration. Don't listen to the old fool. Why bother? I'll just show you the paintings behind which the old man hid the pieces of the star sword sketch. Kitty, that's not very nice. I want to help the old man. Look at it, well, I'm active with my claws. Kitty! That's a bad kitty! Yes? To get to the blueprints, you'll need to cut the paintings up. Well, that's no real loss. But Kitty! No, I can just restore the paintings and then the old man will give me the blue... Oh my goodness, that lady. Is a set of knives. Go ahead and use them. The demented old man won't even notice. He's already completely blind and can hardly hear. Kitty! He trusts you! What a dickhead. First of all, let's head back and see if this leads where I think it leads. Yes! It leads right around here. This is the final room. Let's see the remaining paintings. Knight in armor. A gruesome skull. A figure in rags. Sheesh, look at this. What if I'm deaf? What if I can become deaf? Wow, is that Alma though? Right, yeah, that is a giant. Wow. All right, let's restore this one. Let's restore the lady. <clears throat> the statue. Three. So really not that much work. Yes, might be a tad repetitive, of course. <clears throat> you get to see all the paintings, and presumably I should have done this in opposite order. I should have first restored them, then shown you the results. Oh yeah, they look better. Wow. What if you both restore the pictures and destroy the pictures? <laughs> because you could hypothetically restore 30 of them simply disregarding these ones. Presumably. Let's 
It's all the pictures here. It's not going to be all of them. Oh, sorry. It was the smoke. It made it look like cobwebs, but it was just smoke. Restored all 30 paintings. Right, old man. I sense as if my works were painted yesterday. Marvelous. Like a blind girl. Do you like my paintings now, cat? My cat is very pleased as well. Your cat is an asshole. He's lying to you! You have deserved your reward. I will draw you the sword design that I keep in my memory. If you are still so determined to go there, be careful. Three pieces of the sword. They shall be forged. I wish you could like me be careful. Hey, kitty. You fool. Why all the trouble? We will just steal the sketch. It would work just as well. He can't hear us, he's pretty much deaf. Meow. I wanted to do something nice, you asshole of a cat. What a horrible, horrible cat. So inconsiderate. Well, <clears throat> he locked the door. He really values his privacy. That's the last I've seen of those paintings. Where's the grey Kari? Where are you, you bastard? Hey. I will find it. I will bring the design to the smith. I also need the metal. Oh, uh, you can go there. That's amazing. Let us head there then. Oh, hey, you heavily injured dolt. How does it feel to be heavily injured after betraying these creatures for a couple of eggs? We meet again! Oh, it's you! Know that should you have given me the egg, none of this would, would ever happen. <coughs> See, I've considered the possible. I wouldn't have to sell myself to the castle out of hunger. I've considered the possibility, but that thing was suffering though. This is all your fault. Well, not directly though. I mean, you could dissociate yourself from your own actions. Clearly you refuse to take responsibility. Similarly, the rat 
Now, doesn't have his dinner, does he? Let's free the prisoner there as well. Now, please, just let me die in peace. Um, I can help you with that. That can be arranged. I witness petty desires leading to great tragedies, not wasting any more time. I return to the burning village to report on the results of my search. <clears throat> Have you found the winged traitor? Yes. He's going to die anyway. <sighs> Is vengeance worth anything here? Yeah. There's no remorse on his side and he blames me. No! I will talk! What, am I supposed to be dishonest as well? No. I shall... Be honest. And doom him to death and potentially suffering. Excellent. We will make sure he pays for his crimes before we allow him to die. Um, I have some advice for you. <clears throat> the music will show you the way. A dove. How ironic. Yeah, I guess that's an option. I could play the notes. Um, I have the design, and uh, as I play the notes, I presumably will obtain the metal, at which point I will have what I need. No, Rob, no, this one then. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Five, six. I've played the notes many times already, goddammit. I did ultimately... They're going to torture the Ikari because of me. But then again, was I wrong to let that happen? I don't know if blacksmith's house, but we got him anyway. Such is the fate of all traitors. <clears throat> yeah, he was... He did lie. He betrayed, he caused all this suffering, and now he's being crucified. Not sure that's right, but look at all of this. He claims I am responsible for that, but am I? Am I really? Hey. Still need the star medal. Look at the chapel west of the cathedral. That's going to be a problem. This is the cathedral. Is this the chapel? Even if so, I need the disc and I don't have the disc. Presumably I will receive the disc once I play the notes. But I've tried playing the notes over and over and it has done nothing. Spike with a hole. What am I supposed to put in that hole? 
Am I supposed to really play them in a reasonable sequence? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> play them forward, play them backwards. I don't know anymore. Am I missing something? Anything? The fact that these are the goddamn same? So I should play them turned? For instance, these are inverted. I should probably pay attention to that, right? All of it needs to be inverted. So, invert this. One, two. Invert this into this. No, hold on, hold on. Inverted turn. <clears throat> what exactly happened to them? This goes to the top. But this sticks to the bottom. Oh, it's just mirrored. Flipped. So if I'm to flip this, I'll end up with that. Right? They're just flipped. So this is on the right side and it's on the... What? <clears throat> Is it just 180 degrees? A turn? Um, yes? Yes, it is just turn 180 degrees. Okay. Indubitably, this is the beginning. One, two... Then turn this one 180, you end up with this one, 3. Then turn this one 180, you end up with this one. Then the, turn this one 180, you end up with... Then turn this one, you end up with... Then turn this one 180, you end up, end up with... Then this, then that, then this one, and then, finally, yes, finally, took me a while to figure that one, yes! The missing stone disc, which allows me to head back. I need that crown, by the way. Um, dude, can you hand me the crown of the damned? I would like to have that crown of the damned very much, if you don't mind. I just have to align the discs. That's not a problem. This one seems to be aligned. Um, trial and error is completely unnecessary here. Oh boy. That's lovely. Not only do I have to place them where they belong, I also have to shuffle them about. This one belongs here, this one, that one belongs there. Um, well... <clears throat> Up here is well... Uh, you need three lines, so this one will go there. Yep. Um, uh, this one goes here, so that one must go there. 
There we go. Stall metal. Is that enough? Well, I would hope. One does indeed hope. And that one that does to hope in this particular circumstance is me. I'm not sure crucifying the Ikari was the right way to go. It seems unnecessarily cruel and yet... I mean, he was an asshole. Does that mean he deserves torture? I'm not torturing him directly. Could have spelled him. But then again, you know, potentially retributive justice. Not much of a point otherwise. That's when devotedly begins crafting the sword. Why is he doing that for me? The notes I collected. Let's play in this cathedral have proven very useful. Once again, he's doing it for free. He's been nothing but kind to me, but why? He's done all of this for me, expecting no reward. He's utterly selfless. Thanks me did a fine job. I have the star sword. Drive the blade into the sculpture on the hill. If the stories are true, the passage should be revealed to you. I need the crown. Hey dude, I got a sword. Hey dude, I got a sword. Yeah. Hey dude, are you still alive? No need for me to go back to call us. Just ruthless. Um, that dude will not be impressed with my sword, will he? He will not open the door. He's like, yeah, can't go in. Hey dude, I have a sword. Hey, 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 sword, look at this. Uh. Lizard, I have the sword! I need the crown though! Or do I need the crown? It's like, no, Vestin, you don't need the crown. The crown doesn't make the king. It's not that the thing activates the crown. You don't need the crown at all. Ah, you don't need the crown at all to be the king. Hey, hey, dude, I have this, I have this sword. If you want to... Mm. This is it, this is the end of my journey. Or only the beginning. At last we will find out what happens. And I dread this moment. The sword has awakened the sculpture and a portal opened up. That I can go through immediately. Let's do so. I feel a force lifting me upwards as my body becomes limp. That feeling as if time had stopped or had it ever existed. I am blinded by light. I don't know what is happening to me. I felt as if my heart were being ripped to shreds. When I opened my eyes, I realized I am somewhere else completely. Well... Can I go back? No way back to Frozen Tears. I had better look around. Well, I'm here. Wherever the heel is. Left or right? Let's go right first. Um... Why? Why did I seek out this place? I am pleased to see that you have made it this far. We have been waiting for you. Who the hell are you? To find the truth, you will need a key. Make your choice. Choose the key of light if you consider yourself a good person with a clear conscience. Choose the key of darkness if it is darkness that lies within your heart. The decision is yours. Remember, the destiny we have is the destiny we are. What are you waiting for? Choose your key. Um, no, I will go to the left, thank you. Yeah. 
I don't need to say anything, do I? By this point you already know. Fused to the ground, staring in horror at the many-headed beast. My beasts protect the way down. Below, the final truth awaits. Either good or evil will open the doors of fate. Bring the right key and I shall allow you entry. My beasts protect the way down. I may have done some things I regret. But I do consider myself a good person. I want to take the, the, the other key as well. Oh, God damn it! My conscience is clear. You have chosen your key. Go now and meet your destiny. You might wonder, really, after murdering so many people... Well, not that many people, really. And uh, dooming that guy to torture. After all of that, I still consider myself a good person. And, yes, in a way I do. I hope you already know the final truth. From this point on, there is no return. Crawl deep down into a place where either good or evil shall open the doors of your destiny. Let's do it. Crawling on my knees, I squeeze through a tunnel completely devoid of light. Under my hands, I can feel bones scattering on the slippery surface. My nostrils overwhelmed by the stench of rotting flesh. The only thing I find at the end of the tunnel is a ladder leading further down. I have no choice but to take it. As I descend the ladder, I notice an elevator. Great. There's no point in going back, time to find out what awaits below. Maybe more torture. I go up or down, right? Oh, I go down further into the bowels of the earth. As I enter the elevator, I was track of time, right down seems to have no end. The initial excitement gives way to frustration. Is this some kind of punishment? The ride never ends, eh? <laughs> what if this is the ending? Which way shall you go? Up or down? Are you a good person? Are you a bad person? Well, what if you just get stuck here? Because you don't belong one way or another. You deserve purgatory. I have met you much and it's begun to return in my memory. Some of the memories are connected with regret. Well, my actions always right? I will never know. The elevator continues to ascend. Never an abyss. Slowly I fall into the arms of Morpheus. In my dream I see an old man who, at the end of his life, understands the concept of hell. The wanted chances, all the opportunities we miss during a lifetime. I regret quite a few things, yes, but I cannot turn back time. He keeps wondering how his life would look today. And he seized all the opportunities he missed, but this cannot be done. There is no second chance. Upon this realization, he plunges into sorrow, which will last an eternity. I am overtaken by the paralyzing fear that I might be that old man. At this moment, I wake up. The elevator has suddenly slowed its descent. I may have been wrong in all of this. I was filled with regret quite a bit. Yes. There isn't much I can do here. Just this. I offer my key.
Who are you? Long have I waited for you, but you have finally succeeded in wading through the remnants of your memory to find me. Remnants of my memory? Who are you? This place is buried deep underground, just as your memories are in the chasm of your consciousness. What? I assume you have many questions, as does every lost soul who enters here. Who are you? You might prefer to disbelieve, but your body has long since been consumed by the earth. Oh my... Everything you have experienced in the chasm, the wasteland, and frozen tears, it was just a spectacle. A projection of your shattered memories. Not literal, presumably, as well, right? Just wading through all that stuff. All of it metaphorical. A unique world created... Yes, a unique world created solely for the purpose of determining whether the nature of your soul can still change. Well, can it? At least you know I'm not entirely consistent. You must wonder what events led you here. Be warned, the truth may be cruel and difficult to accept. I'm okay with that. Jealousy. This was the catalyst of your deeds, leading to your tragic end. Behold the final moments of your life. I'm... I might have been wrong, I... Your obsessive jealousy drove you to murder your beloved, striking yourself soon afterwards. You had no courage to live with a sin so heavy, choosing instead to escape. With your cowardly act, you closed two books. This was another and final display of cowardice. Deep within the soul, anyone knows too well that although suicide might be a solution, it is a truly shameful one, and when all seems lost, it is more honorable to be defeated by life itself than suffer death by your own hand. That's one choice I did make. To persevere and to not be discouraged by even terrible things I have done myself. In effect, your soul arrived in a world formed from the fragments of your memories, dreams, and nightmares. All this so you could redeem your sins, prove that you are worthy of salvation, or confirm you deserve eternal damnation. You were giving another chance. Did I fail? Let's see if you succeeded. I am legitimately... You set the spider free so he could devour the guard. A cruel act you had no reason to commit. I... Yes, that was horrible. Also, I killed the knight. That was by accident. The whole knight did not have to die. Who gave you the right to decide whether someone else lives or dies? I regret that one. I really do. But that one was an accident. I did not know. He was in agony. There was no cause for such a collective cool vengeance. You could have chosen not to speak the truth and it would surely have been forgiven. That's the... yeah, those are the three acts I actually regret. Kinda. The third one is questionable. Yeah, I could have kept my mouth shut. There was also good in your deeds, behold. You saved your fellow prisoner, even though you did not have to. His heart was not pure, but no creature truly deserves death. Debatable. You were being told to kill the woman trapped in a cage, but you chose to act rationally. Is that really rational? You saved the being from the crossroads from dreadful torment. You freed the man imprisoned at the bottom of the well. You gave the crown to the lizard from the tower. You chose well, he was a very wise being, incapable of using the crown's power to do wrong. Mostly right. Once again, three. Three bad things. One mistake, one act of unnecessary cruelty, and one act of retributive vengeance. 
Other than that, I've made the right choices. The paintings meant a lot to the painter. The restoration was a drop of joy in a sea of sorrows for this old man. The jester's heart was shrouded by darkness and yet you were able to forgive him and give him a second chance. I've done a lot more good than evil. I dreaded this because it wasn't perfection. And yet... The decisions you had to make during your journey were put before you to test your corrupted soul. Regrettably you have committed too much evil. Your deeds have proven even more than before that you are not worthy of salvation. You have been given one final chance and you have squandered it. Your soul shall, your soul shall be damned for eternity. Regrettable in many aspects. I absolutely could have done better, but I didn't. And I regret that heavily. But it was a journey. Quite a journey, wasn't it? Um, in case you did watch it, thanks for accompanying me on that journey. Thanks for watching and you will see me elsewhere.